All right, we are in the Floridas at the bins. Actually, I'm not sure if this whole building is the bins, but the entrance isn't till all the way up here. So this might be a big one, it might be a big bins, but I guess we're gonna see. We are near the airport. These are airport Goodwill bins in Florida, Orlando. So, let's see what we can find. I have one disposable glove and we're gonna see what kind of good things we can find. It is a Saturday, which I never come on a Saturday because it is real busy, but that's what we had open, so we're doing it. So let's see what we can find in Florida at Le Bins. Let's go. Not today. These carts are insane. <laughs> they are saying, you are not taking this out of the store. <laughs> GSL denim. What one do? Hmm. I don't, I'm probably going to just take things that are really amazing just because I don't want to bring home a ton of stuff um it's more so like just checking and seeing what they have but if I find something great I of course am going to take it home but it's not as insanely busy as I was thinking it was going to be Knox Rose, extra, extra large. Those are kind of cute, actually. St. John's Bay. And their um, bins are, like, really full. I want to look up these, kind of. Oh, it has a ripped seam. John Paul Richard uniform. <laughs> Swim trunks. Oh, I need a poncho too. Maybe I can find a Ben's poncho. <laughs> Levi's. 550s. They look vintage, but not like uber vintage. 3432. All right, let's keep going. It looks like, it looks like it's all clothing. Huh, it really does look like it's all clothing. That would be strange. Mauvey jeans. Mavi, is that a good brand? Can't remember. I think I might come back here. I want to do a, a look around and see if it really is just clothes. Land's End. Authentic Weston, size medium. Um, I'll look that up. What are the prices? One eighty nine a pound. So it looks like. There's no separate pricing for other stuff, and you don't have to get 25 pounds. Messia?
also there's a price of $11.49 a bin. I don't know what that means. Can you just be like, I would like this whole bin. Sisono. Ooh, those are dirty. Oh, a fun sweater. It looks very much like Sheen. It is Sheen. Urban Ranger. I'll look that up because I've never thought for it. What is this? Sequined monstrosity. Do you want them in that rough condition, Anthony? Mm. They seem alright. It's not bad. The hem is like needing to be fixed. Is this vintage? It looks vintage, not like vintage vintage, but it does look vintage. But it looks small. Hmm, maybe. Okay, I think I'm just gonna gander a little. I assume this is very Bradley. Oh, it looks like it's reversible. Mm, not very Bradley, but reversible. Okay, let's just look. A faux long chomp. Oh, we have some shoe bins over here. Ooh, this looks like Lily Pixar. Island Republic. Okay, let's go over here. I'm seeing lots and lots of clothes. Mm, a bedding bin. This is super chipped. These look pretty decent. Bandolino. Mountain. What is this? Mm, there's a bunch of glue thing. Charlotte Ruth. Oh, their shoe bins are so clean. Ours at home are sketchy McSketch. They have seen things. Jessica Simpson. Worthington. Although Enzo Angiolini, Franco Sardo, Easy Street. Jay's Awake. Ooh, these are funky. Madeline Stewart. Oh, I kind of like those. Size 8. This looks like a Jeffrey Campbell, but it doesn't feel like a Jeffrey Campbell. Here's the other one. Mm -hmm. 
Robin girl. These are fossil. Nine West. So here's the match. I missed a few down here, so let me check those out. Mm. Mm, no, I saw that one. No, 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 no. I don't think I saw this one. Jones, New York. Yeah, because I saw that. Coach Poppy shoes. The um outside is peeling. missing its shoulder strap. Okay, I'm gonna go dispense and I will be back. Okay, let's go back here. I'm not sure what's in these bins back here, but let's check these out. Oh, it looks like purses. Oh jeez, it's a mountain of them. Alright. Mm. Wow, no name on that. It looks decent quality. Wow, they really uh fill this one purse been up real hefty. Oh, there's the back. Got some pallets back there. Uh, Steve Madden. That one's falling apart. Rosetti. Fun vintage one. Ooh, 
this is really dirty. E G A E G. Oh, this is cute. If it wasn't stained to crap. Oh, that's adorable. A very sad cake spade. really broken. <laughs> Bins just jam packed. Two 
kilo. Two kilo. Maybe. I don't remember if that's good or not. Oh. Figure it out. It's a big, big hand. I need to do that. It's kind of a cute bag. Do you have to look at mama? Do you have to look at mama? Power bag. Ooh. With Claiborne. It's kind of a decent looking bag. $15 at the normal goodwill. That's cute. It's really dirty though. Lots and lots and lots of bags. Oh, I sold one of these. It's not very Bradley, though. Inside's a bit dirty, but not terrible. This is not leather. And there is an explosion of some sort inside. Sad, sad, very sad. It's like someone picked it up and threw it back because of its sad state. This is falling apart. Oh, 
don't know what that is, but it's falling apart. It's hard to really get to the back back. my stuff off I might look up this one and then go through some clothing because I think that's all that's left is clothing bin so I will be back oh let me go through this one quick I didn't get through this one falling apart. There's another set. This is in pretty good shape. stuff off and go through some clothes. I'll be back. Denim and flower. I get that sometimes. That's a pretty decent brand. Extra large. This looks like Puma. Like a Puma workout skirt? Nope, it's shirt. Extra large. Round Tree and York. It's like, no, it's rayon. All of that. What is it? It's something mine rose. Ooh, what is this? This looks fun. Um, oh, I don't know. Yeah, you need something. I saw an, a, a navy pants. You say like looking for, looking for, like, like right in it. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side. Gold label. Oh, here's another one. Round tree in York. Well, I'll be looking it up, seeing if it's worth anything. Evolution. George, which is Walmart. Gap. Oh, what are you? Made in Poland. Right. 
made in China. It looks like a nice cut though. Shanjan. Wool 46 regular. It's a nice coat actually. Okay, let's look over here. Rain Shredder Vintage. Meeting Street. Okay. Look we'll at some furniture. $17.99. One e. Bunch of chairs. This chair is $6.99. It needs a seat though. Oh, it looks like they have some breakables, like to stage stuff. Homer Laughlin. A massive. I don't know if this is recycled. 30. I wonder if that's 30 here, though. Oh, let's look at these chairs. These are like some Nerf guns. This white table is seven. Take the stuff on the table too. Okay. Let me finish out these. This changing table is eight. The um, handles are falling apart. All right, I think I am off to the next location White House Black Market. So stay tuned for a quick little overview of what I found here. And we will be back with the next one soon. That's a cute sweater. Medium wool. I'm make it this. Tommy. I sold this one. Alright, we're done now. We're done now. Okay, I will be back. Let me show you a picture of the prices. with an overview stay tuned all right this is what we found for today this is just a personal item but goodwill was selling it for 419 well that's not bad actually brand is via europa and it's just a basic button down okay i've sold this one before tommy hilfiger this one actually does pretty well I don't pick up a lot of Tommy Hilfiger, but this type of blazer, I sold a red one and it did pretty well. I'm trying to find the size. I think I sold it for 50. Um, and this one is a blue. This is a nice one. I'm not sure the sizing. Goodwill was originally selling it for $16.99. We have a Victoria's Secret fanny pack and a nice glittery glitter. I think this is for my mom, but it is 31, which actually isn't a bad brand. It's like a heavy duty tote, like reusable. You could do groceries with that thing. Okay, I need to look up this one. It is Roundtree and York. Goodwill is selling it for $6.99. It's rayon. I thought it might be silk, but it's not. But I've never seen this brand before, so I just wanted to double check and see if it was a decent one. So I will be doing that. 
Next we have a Sedgefield size large vintage flannel button down, button up, button sideways, however you want a button. Looks like these do about 20-ish, $20, so it's not bad. This is, ooh, there's little holes here. Banana Republic wool angora cardigan size medium that's the hard thing with wool there's always not always but you have to be really careful and it looks like this one is tore up but if it wasn't definitely would be getting okay what do we have next we have a few sack purses this one, the inside's a little dirty on the top, but the rest isn't too bad. And a brown leather. So we got that one, and then another sack purse. And this one has its little fobby. And the inside's pretty clean on this one. So this one's not bad at all, actually. So we got that. We have a Tutilo. New York. It looks like this might be a laptop bag. And these can do well. I think it just depends on what is happening here. It depends on the bag, but I think this one would probably do well. But Tutilo, New York. Next, I need to look up this as well. I've never seen this brand. It is... Cat Pard, P A R D. It's very interesting. I mean, it's a just regular black booty, size six, but I have not seen the brand and the logo looks interesting, so we'll see. We have a pair of Stuart Weidsman, just a small little kitten heel, size nine and a half. Those are pretty decent, actually. And like a patent leather. We have a Victoria's Secret workout bra. In a... In a... In a... What size are you? 32D. It's actually pretty good shape. Okay, next we have a pair of Michael Kors heels. These are size, what size are you? A mystery. Size mystery. Oh, eight and a half. In like a maroon leather. So we got those. Next we have a Cossique, uh, like bustier almost. This is, it was originally $5.99, um, and the size on this is $18.20, so that's one bueno. Um, these I don't know, I need to look them up, but the brand on this is Urban Ranger, size 32, striped pant. Cute. And then I also need to look up this, which is Authentic Western, I don't know what that says, Young Gloss, something like size medium, pearl snap, button down, or pearl snap down, pearl snap up, whatever the pearl snap. It's like another bra. Bali or Bali. Uh, I don't think I'm getting this. 42C. Um, next is a vintage. I'm pretty sure it's vintage. Zipper looks like it. Fun, like 60s, 70s. I'd say it's 70s more. Print with sequins. There's no sizing, so it would have to be measured. Has a little neck snap. Definitely like this. And the hem is raw, but that could be easily fixed. But beautiful, pure beauty. I love this. 
All right, that is what we found at location number one for the Florida bins. I'll be going to maybe one, maybe two more locations. So hang on to your pants and we will be seeing what the Florida bins is all about and what we can find here. But in the meantime, if you could give this video a thumbs up, I'll show you my new nails. A thumbs up, I would so appreciate it. It helps out so much, the video, the algorithms, all the thing YouTube wants. So I appreciate it so much. And I will be back with another treasure hunt soon. Bye. We are at location number two. Goodwill outlet in Florida. Um, I forget where I am exactly. All I know is I'm in Florida. Oh, mm, no, 2633 somewhere. There's a man having a nice nap on the ground over there. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna see what things we can find at this location. Let's go. Oh, they're putting out a new row. That's true. I'm gonna go to this corner and see what's over here. Those are Zodiac. Those are pretty good for him. Oh, here's a made in Italy. $14.99. Looks like we have some shoe bins over here. Oh, have to get out of the fungus section. These are light. They feel not the best. They are made in Brazil. Actually, pretty decent. Nine West. Those are pretty cute too, actually. Frank of Sardo. Let's look over here.
Wonder Woman Penguin. Six legs. Wonder Woman Penguin. Okay, let's go over here. And then I think I'll weave my way back in. Mm, this is a nice shoe. I don't know who it is. Mm, no. It's Ryder Girl. It does okay. It was $9.99 wherever it was sold. Those are pretty spicy. Demonia? missing a lot of its rhinestones. Soft. Those are cute. look in the middle. I think mm, the rest are like clothing. Union Bay. Goodwill Sequiny Cat Extra Large Target Castlon. They have a lot of clothing bins, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. What is this? She 
clean underwear. Polo play. Borrow intimates. It's like a full on sweater. Oh, I wonder if they're taking bins off the floor because they close in two ish hours. If they're taking stuff off already because it looks like they've removed like mm, a fourth of the bins from the floor <laughs> white house black market very well used So this may be a location that you want to come early because they close pretty early. Kyoko, Kyoko. Mm. Round Tree and York. just doing a kind of skim. I don't have any more gloves, so we're not digging deep today. Paradise Bay. Mm, this might be good. These are cute. where the sparkle comes off. What, what are you? Simply Southern. Love all that you do. I'll take on that one. Baby Bagosh. Look like they are, yes, modern. Mm. I think that might be GNW. Okay, take a looker over here. Hydraulic. What is this? Oh, 
backpack. Andre by unit. Looks like Goodwill is selling it for ten dollars. Oh, is that a jumpsuit? Oh, it is. It's a little dirt. Unique extra small. Actually, that's really cute. It's like a tie dye cardigan. Kind of like that. M. Oh, Mystic. Let's go down this other side. Ooh, the music is just booming. Vintage looking. I think I might go back to the furniture section to kind of go over some of the stuff back there. Show you what all the furniture might be. Ooh, that was good. Okay, let's go look at some furniture. That's a quilt over here. Oh, J.C. Penny Home. Ooh, it smells a little funky. Or something smells funky. Okay, so let's get some. Oh, I'm busy. Pricing on some furniture. This is fifteen dollars. Five ninety nine, three ninety nine. It's a lot of tore up furniture. Oh, they have a lot of tusks. That's why it's buy one get one free. <laughs> buy one for twenty, get one free. Seven ninety nine. Oh, I think this is a location where you run to the new bins. So that's gonna be. Oh, they actually like cordon them off. One ninety nine. Two ninety nine. It's pretty broken up, but I mean, two ninety nine. Looks like a little precious moments doll. Ooh, she's like actually breakable. Okay. Let's look at a row of clothing, and then I probably will be taking off. I might video the new bins coming out. We shall see. Brittany Black, made in USA. Mm. L, size 14. Actually. I don't know if she's talking to me or not, but I'm 
but I will. What are these? Old Navy. Someone's work shirt. Okay, I will be back with what we are deciding to get. So stay tuned. Okay, we are leaving location number two. Ooh, it's very loud right here. Very, very loud. Um, not a ton. We also didn't spend a lot of time here, but if they're also taking bins off the floor because they are closing for the day in a few hours. So, but these are our two puny but very profitable items we found. Some vintage Zodiac boots. This one still has its um, cardboard insert, which is really cool actually. So we're getting those and then this vintage, I'm not sure if this is bone and metal billow. But hey, those both are worth quite a bit, so not too shabby if I do say so. But if you enjoyed this, please give this a thumbs up. I so, 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 so appreciate it. It helps out so much. And I might be at one more location, maybe not, but if not, I hope you enjoyed the Florida bins. You got kind of to see what they were about and what some of them had. And I will see you on the next one. Bye. Okay, they just put out two, four, six, seven, 14, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 new bins. They like ex put them out in chunks. Um, this is in Florida because I didn't realize and I was digging on this side and this side you can dig on, but this side you can't dig on. So it's very strange. I don't know but they are putting one more bin out and then everyone behind the rope back here is allowed to go through so i'm assuming it'll be like a mass exodus to the new bins i don't know how a few people got through but a few people got through the rope uh that they have lined up back here but i guess uh we'll see oh she's giving them instructions Okay, they're allowed to go.